So, uh, real talk audience real quick, because I'm not even sure Cassie started recording yet. We're just kind of going a slow burn thing. Um, the fuck is this? Hey, big vendor. Achievement get. Yeah, challenge the vending machine 100 times. What? What? The vending machine? I think it counts this as the, the, the vending machine. Ball gag game, see? It's a gag ball! Where's the dildo you were talking about? I'm looking for it, give me a minute. Because if this isn't a dildo, it looks like one of those dildos you sit on right. It even has like a male symbol next to it. Uh, okay, that's a beaker. You pervert. The cylinder. Read it? Yeah, a laboratory instrument. With a masculine symbol on it. Organic synthesis is possible by combining it with this measure with the measuring flask. Yeah, it's scientific equipment, you pervert. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Now buy the man's nut. Come on. It's not buying the man's nut, Gabriel. Damn it, I was hoping. <laughs> okay. So what scene do you think that gives us? A huge nut that can't be found in nature, said to exist within a man's heart. It's said that consuming this will increase your power to pursue romance. What kind of scene do you think that'll give us? Um, Soda goes after Sonia and gets shot the fuck down. Uh, no, but alright. Yeah, well, I didn't figure I'd be able to guess it, because I don't know. Well, I mean, it's pretty obvious it's one of the pervy ones. Mm -hmm. That's what I was just trying to get out of you. For a long time, humans have been taught that if you try hard enough, you can accomplish anything. Even if we weren't told this directly. Alright, you Nagi, can you stop being so dramatic? Us. The internet, TV, and newspapers are overflowing with hopeful messages that say exactly that. But people who can't win, people who don't try to win, people who try their best and still can't win. They are all worthless trash. There are two kinds of people in this world. Those who are born with Your worth mouth's moving real and fast everybody there, else. Buddy. No matter how hard a lowly human tries, they will never be the same as someone who was born worthy. Man, he loves Bianca. <laughs> they say that effort yeah. breeds success. But that Shame we got him lie. killed. The world is not that accommodating. No matter how hard a small dog tries, it will never become a large then dog. Then you, sir, haven't seen big dogs that like to think that they're small dogs. So, two things. One, he would have sucked Biakia's dick last game. He two, would have let Nagi bend him over. Two, at the beginning of the game, he would have thought nothing good of Nagi, and by the end of it, he would have been fucking Nagi, or... No, he would have been fucked by Nagi, you're right. He's a bottom. No matter how much a penguin tries, there's no way it will ever soar through the sky. I mean, if you want to the cannon... <laughs> yeah, you haven't seen those videos where it slides down a slope like it's bidding. No matter it's what they do. People with talent don't become talented. They're just born with their abilities right from the start. That's not the case. That's right. Just like you guys. That's why I have so much respect for you all. Uh, just so you know, what I feel is different from admiration. It's, a, it's sexual grat- uh, uh, fuck. It's sexual gratification. Admiration is wishing you could be like the object of your admiration. But what I feel is not so self-serving. How should I put it? What I feel is more pure. More like a selfless love that wants nothing in return. 
So, I want you guys to believe me when I say I don't mind if you kill me. But if that happens, I want you to let me help. I don't care if the killer survives, or if everyone but the killer survives. I just want both sides to do their very best. I want to see with my own two eyes the absolute hope that lies ahead. Yep, I'm really lucky. Someone is I'm feeling lucky. Me will be there when hope and despair collide and unleash their energy. So please let me help you. If you're planning to kill me, I would be honored to help you carry out your plan. I want you to use me as a stepping stone so everyone can shine. I want you to kill me in a way that befits. Oh, shut up. Yes, mood. Yes, Honestly, yeah. fuck off. Pow. Chapter Somebody just two. deck his ass? God, I hope. I mean, yes, it was. I was so sad because I told it everybody was too. Not Hina. All my, like, Dangan fa my friends, all my Dangan friends, I was like, yo, I really like Nagi. He's super cute. And they were all like, <laughs> okay. And I was like, wait, what? <sighs> yeah, no, he just seemed like super Saiyan. Like, I'm going to be honest. At the end of Dangan Rumpa 1, I expected Naegi to go super Saiyan and look similar to that. Kind of like how a bunch of other people went Super Saiyan. Nagi's a soft boy. But I guess that isn't a hope-related thing. It's purely a despair-related thing. I don't think it's a despair-related thing. I think that's more like willpower than hope. I mean, listen. Sakura was Super Saiyan from the beginning, so that's willpower. But, like, uh, Ishimaru definitely was in a pit. Yeah, but he went Super Saiyan after the despair. Like, when he was okay yeah, again. When he when he began fusing with the dead person. I mean fusing, sure. I say fusing because that's some level of despair, dude. <laughs> when you literally just say, I'm taking on their mantle, I am one with them and I'm just like uh, <laughs> It's mental illness, isn't it, love? An ordeal like that doesn't change the fact that I still get hungry. I learned this firsthand as I head towards the hotel restaurant with dreary, sullen footsteps. Yeah, it's a good thing that they didn't expect Terra Terra to cook for them the entire time. Yeah, damn shame. We only got one time when he cooked for us. Yeah. Oh. Ah, uh, Hajime, you're here. Good morning. Ah. Uh. Yo. Uh, good morning. Just that I thought the atmosphere in the restaurant is pretty cool to me. Well, one person killed someone last night, so yeah, typically after that, it's not going to be all sunshine and rainbows. But after what happened yesterday, that's to be expected. You guys will get over it soon enough anyway. You always do. Bianco, who appointed himself our leader, was killed, and the person who killed him was our friend. I mean, that's an exaggeration. And that friend was also killed right in front of us. After experiencing something like that, it's impossible not to feel sad. Huh? Huh? You guys don't look so good. Your faces are all like you attended two funerals in a row. I guess some people don't feel so sad. Cause, cause, that's like what happened. That's like what happened. <laughs> My bad. Biaki and Terra Terra got killed. Go. I'm not talking to you, you ugly bitch. You know, I missed my chance, but maybe I'll have my chance next time. Unless somebody else does it first. Just kill her midway through the trial. Who's gonna persecute you? No one. But, uh, why are you always so mean to me? But Still, I, under I understand about Mr. Ham Hands, but is there even a reason for us to be sad about Terra Terra's death? Hey, hey. What the heck do you mean? I like how she doesn't understand that he died to try to save us, but alright, whatever. Well, he was a crazy guy who killed someone! He totally deserved to die! Hey. I understand how you feel, but you're going too far. That's weird. Huh? Is that alright to- is it alright to defend a killer? Are you trying to justify murder? No. No. That was not my intention, but- then you gotta hate him more than ever! You gotta hate him from the bottom of your heart! He's a stupid-
stupid piece of trash bastard who committed the lowest crime possible. He deserved to get killed. I cannot wait. I really hope it's the case that you commit murder. I don't know on who because I don't really want anyone else to die, but that you commit murder or you just trip and fall off a cliff. Either one. I mean, I'd be fine with Soda dying. In fact, I'm rather relieved he was executed. If I could have, I totally would have spat on him. Jeez. What gives? Does a pea brain like you have something to complain about? It's not like that. Well, it it's smells. something smells, don't you think? Huh? <laughs> so new. Again? It can't be. Don't tell me. It better not be another dead body. Hmm. Nah, it's not the smell of blood this time. It just smells really bad. Smells bad? Where's Nekamaru? Um, it's kind of like how a bar or nightclub smells after closing time, you see? I don't know what that smells like, but... Hey, hey, hey! I don't know those smells. You must have had a pretty rough life. Now that you mention it. <clears throat> now that you mention it, I... I do smell something. It's like a sewer or rotten garbage. I got it! Yeah, I know what it is. Nekomar's breath probably stinks. <laughs> you got me there! <laughs> she didn't have to say something remotely... F she didn't say anything remotely funny just now. Mm, no. It's not Nekomaru. This smell's coming from... You, Hyoko. Whoa. Oh, it's true. Hyoko, you reek. What did you do to me? A rotten stings. A rotten smell stings my eyes, as if a demonic eclipse is about to commence. <laughs> Get fucked. Oh my my! Oh, she's crying. Hey. I said it before, but you guys are really insensitive. She was literally just saying how every one of us is stupid for caring about Terror Terror dying. She's the insensitive one. She can go fuck herself. That was close. Uh, no, it doesn't actually smell that bad. I mean, as long as I breathe with my mouth. <laughs> like... Are you even taking baths? You haven't bathed? I I can't help it. I can't I can't time my fuck. I've lost the accent when she's not acting like a bitch. I can't time my kimono sash by myself. <laughs> hey. Uh, hey, Hyoko, you don't have to cry so much. I'll tie your sash for you, okay? Really? <laughs> I can only tie a simple knot, but if that's okay with you, I can teach you. Yay! I love you, Mahiru. I'll give you a kiss. Hey, Hyoko, you don't have to hug me. <laughs> it appears you <laughs> She appears to have taken a liking to you. <laughs> <clears throat> Welcome to the world of girl love. It's slippery when wet. <laughs> God, I love Ibuki just for that. <laughs> there you go. They're suddenly not so tense anymore. Well, I guess it's better than being down forever. If I was all by myself, I probably wouldn't have been able to put my feelings aside and move on like this. I guess I have to thank these guys. Anyway, what happened to Fuyuhiko and, and Nagito? It seems they are both not here. Uh, now that I think, now that you mention it, you're right. I saw Fuyuhiko earlier near the hotel. I invited him to breakfast, but he declined. Well, that's just Fuyuhiko being Fuyuhiko, but. Huh? Who cares about Nagito? 
<laughs> He's cursed. A child who summons misfortune, so to speak. Well, that may be true, but... Just letting you know, I don't know anything! I have no idea! Without hesitation, I don't know anything about Nagato at all! That's right. He's right. Forget him. Let's just forget about that creep already. They're obviously acting suspicious, aren't they? Of course not! I'm not suspicious! Impossible! And that's right, I'm not suspicious! What's the matter? Hey, what's up? Did someone get kidnapped or something? You came at just the right time! Hmm? Hmm, at the right time? No, it's nothing! I don't really get it, but you must have yearned for me. Your outlook in life has changed with my cuteness, so your body can't stand alone without me. Hmm. I can't help myself, you know. My body reacts to Monokuma on its own. No. Something like that. Stupid. Who cares about that? Just hurry up and tell us why you're here. Actually. To be honest, I'm searching too. My valued servant has disappeared. Servant? What the hell? You know, my monopiece. One of them just uh, disappeared. Uh, were the monopies disappeared? Hmm. Maybe I cut back the cost of their food too much. Perhaps they're boycotting me? Let me tell you this. But that guy is the weakest of the weak of four. How shameful for Monga Beast to lose to a mere human. <laughs> That's what you want to say, right? Yeah. Hmm? Nature. The, though this is purely the prelude, the climax will occur soon after. The now then, let me hear your scream. I shall make it sweet music for you. Yeah, yeah. Hey Gundam, you should stop playing with that stuffed animal. My entire existence. I'm still we called a stuffed animal. Oh well, it looks like you guys don't know anything about my mana beast either. Then it's a waste of time for me to worry about it. I don't want to go bald from worrying too much. A wise catbot said once said, our eyes are on the front so we can keep moving forward. As Monokuma said those familiar sounding words to us once again, he disappeared. Hey, what do you think he meant just now? He said something about a Monok beast disappearing? Yeah, it's almost like uh, we have more of the island to explore now. Hmm. Hmm. The only possibility I can think of is... Were you in the middle of something? If so, I could just come back later. Then leave. <laughs> At least ask me to leave kindly. Hey, hey. Ah, oh, before you leave, I want to ask you something. Did you have anything to do with the disappearing mana beast? Ha! -ha yes, that's right. I'm the one who defeated that mono beast. You did? You serious? Defeating a monster like that? How the hell does someone like you pull that off? <laughs> I'll talk about that more in detail in a different mode. Anyway, I've released the bridge gate for you all. So um, yeah, that <laughs> mode is basically the fight Monami has with the mono beasts, and you're the one that's Monami fighting the mono beasts. So every time <sighs> a trial happens and she opens up a new island, so you go. Okay. So wait. You're telling me that she has the ability to beat a mono beast, and that she waits until a murder happens every time? She has to be motivated, and the thing that motivates her is the death of a student. That's not a great motivator. Nah, you know. <sighs> hey, hey. If. The gate is open. Does that mean that we can go to that new island across the bridge, right? Is that true? Um, that's totally true. Right, I meant right. Now that you can all go to more areas, let's all get along and live a life together for sure this time. Fun like, fun like, fun. Love, love. L Living together on this island isn't what's important. We need to find a way to escape. Please. Of course, escaping from this island is our main goal. Huh? Why you? Nobody wants to live in 
a swashbuckling Hollywood type action film. I want to live where I can be more average. A life where nothing happens. That's better for me. All right. If you find anything that can be salvaged from the boat parts, let me know immediately. It seems that everyone's united on a path that's different from what I had planned. Now then, let's, <laughs> let's disperse. The time has come to release that cursed seal. All right. All right, let's find a way to leave this island. That is impossible. Hmm? Leaving the island is no longer possible. No longer possible? Hey, what is that? Uh, hey, hey. Hey, Hajime, let's leave that thing alone already. After all, she's the same as Monokuma. It's better if you don't get that close to her. I will beat y'all up if you don't stop disrespecting Usami. I mean, they don't know anything about it. You're right. It seems everyone's attention has shifted towards exploring the new island. Expecting to find someone something that will help us in this situation, everyone filled out, uh, filed out of the restaurant. Okay. All right. Um. So I think now is the time where they want you to go explore the new island. I don't think we have to do the hidden event thing yet. But just for my sanity, talk to Mahiru before you leave this room. Because Mahiru is the one we're going to have to talk to. So I think we have to talk to her tomorrow morning. I think. A new island, huh? I should go find some clues, too. Aww. Mm, you can't! You promised me you'd tie my kimono sash! Hey. That was... We can do that after we finish exploring the new island. But if I don't hurry and go take a bath, they'll call me smelly again and they'll bully me again. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's take a light shower first. Yay! Oh, shit. So, this guide isn't in order because there's two that are this chapter. So this is the man's nut. The next one happens tomorrow. Ahem. <laughs> We're gonna wash each other! Huh? Huh? Wash each other? H hold on, I don't think it's a good idea for me to go in too. <laughs> no, no, we're both girls. There's no need to be shy. But Except my hair is gay. <laughs> but... Let's go! Hyoko pulled my hero's hand, smiling like a child before school trip, and headed towards the cottages. Wash each other? I see washing each other, huh? <laughs> washing each other? <laughs> no, I shouldn't! Uh, what am I thinking? If I get caught, I'll never hear the end of it. But even if I have a man's urge is swirling within me... Huh? That's right, I do have it. A huge man's <laughs> nut like this. <laughs> I... Hajime. I like how as soon as it's this scene, their personality is just 180. <laughs> Not at all like they are normally. All of a sudden, they're consumed by the horny. I just like how there's literally no thought brain empty. Yeah. Big urges, himbo urges, energy. Nut, urges, way. urges, nut. Nut urges, <laughs> urging nut, nuts and urges growing within me. <laughs> That's right. I have this with me. Oh, right. Well, I will tame it. I want an urge that will exceed this nut. All right. Here we go, and game. I be on the steam. Saw the net. No, the urge that was resting on this island. So, just so you know, there is a cell in this game of Mahiru without the fog. So you see nipple and everything, but there is not one of Hyoko. Like, Good. the version that has Mahiru totally naked does not have Hyoko totally naked. Good. <laughs> That's illegal. I mean, they're both the same age. Yeah, I know, but you know what I mean. Do you want me to wash you? Jeez. Oh, 
Just like chestnuts roasting on an open fire, my ears are boiling, churning, and unloading inside my heart. Wait, huh? Was my characterization always this way? <laughs> it feels like I lost sight of myself, but it's not like I can erase what I've already seen. I'll just leave it be. What in the fuck? <laughs> yeah, you know? It's a good thing we talked to Meyer before we left. I didn't know that the guide wasn't in order for some frickin' reason. Alright. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Yeah, the next one is tomorrow morning. Before we go to the restaurant tomorrow morning, talk, find Mahiru. Just as a thing. Look at them legs. Goddamn Haji. So, you know, they uh, removed this in the third game because they kind of realized how ridiculous it is. In the third game, you're back yeah. to first person running around. Okay. That's fair. I mean, in UDG, you're technically third person, but it's not 2D. It's 3D. There we go. That's what I was going for. Okay. Oh, that's so cute. So do you want to... what do I need to do? You told me you had one of mine, so what is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't tell me what it is, just tell me what hope and despair. We've got in Shitami, Monami, uh, Snekami, and... I think that's it? Okay. Also, apparently Shitami poops more than other pets. Yes, I noticed. Like, that's a shocker. Alright, second island. Okay. Hmm. She's right, the Mona Beast that was blocking this bridge is gone, plus the gate that was blocking the bridge is now open. I guess Mona Me was right after all. What lies beyond this bridge? All right, I guess I should find out. So this is the new island. The ambiance seems different compared to the first island with the hotel. God, I miss Nadachi. Well, now's not the time for me to make carefree observations. There might be a clue here that tells us how to leave this island. I need to find it. What the hell is this? What? Is that a movie theater off in the distance? Maybe? I don't... Maybe? Diner. Oh, yeah. That might have been what I was seeing. Hey, Gundam. <sighs> okay. Apparently I hold down the B button too much. <laughs> You're too late. The seal has already been broken. Seal, is he talking about the bridge? Whatever, it's not like I really care. Ouch. So, do I investigate this then? Yeah. Just let me know if I shouldn't go somewhere. You can go everywhere. Okay. The signboard says diner. I guess I should try going inside. Forced. Huh? That looks like... Oh, it's you. Dumbass. I'm trying to eat right now. Go away, dumbass! Fuki Eagle suddenly started yelling at me as he was held a hamburger in one hand. Wait. Hold on, why is he here? He wasn't at the restaurant. Why does he know about the new island? Hey, why are you here? How do you find out that we can go to this island? Hm. You monkey or something? Do you not understand human language? I told you to leave me alone when I'm eating. Jeez. Annoying person went out of their way to tell me. Annoying person. Then I found this place, and now I'm eating here because I'm hungry. Mystery solved, you happy now? So get the fuck out of here and go somewhere else. Hey, about that annoying person. It's got nothing to huh? do with you. Mind your own damn business. It's got nothing to do with you. Actually, it does have to do with me. I don't know what you're thinking, but we're all in this situation together. We're all you're not the only one stuck on this together. island. We have to work together. That is one step up from Nai. He was actually able to defend his, you know, thought process. You should know that by now, too, so... Yeah, but to be why fair... Why are you avoiding us? That's because Hajime is technically more of an asshole than Nagi, so he doesn't care about interrupting oh, yeah. people or being jerks, considering... Yeah. Like, examples, what we just said about Gundam two seconds ago. Kind of a yeah. dick, Haji. Yeah. Meanwhile, Nagi literally just, like, went out there, and he's just like, Oh, I don't... I feel like I have to, like, talk to these other people and all these things, and I'm just like, Listen, if you had told them, these two people would not have died. Fuck off. 
I'm not avoiding you bastards. I've just decided not to rely on anyone. Not to rely on anyone. That includes the Kaziri clan. I can still survive without relying on them. Huh? Hey, are you actually... Don't, don't get it twisted. I'm a Yakuza by blood. It's not like I don't want to head the family business someday. I just want to prove I've earned it. Prove I can tough it out on my own without relying on my clan. Plus, even if I fail, the clan will still be around. My little sister would be happy to lead it. Oh, you have a little sister? Shut the hell up! Shut up! Why do you make me bring that up anyway? You brought that up by yourself. Anyway. I don't really intend to spend any of my time with you guys. Nothing good can come of it. Nothing good can come of it? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? In this kind of situation, interacting with others will just shorten your lifespan. These idiots, Bianca and Teratero, are proof of that. Plus, well, it'd be frustrating to hold back my effect, to be held back by affection when it's time to f kill. You're still saying that. Of course. I'll sacrifice the lives of everyone here if it guarantees my survival. Even if you don't actually mean that, you're awful just for saying it. <laughs> you're the one who spoke to me without my permission, so don't get pissed at me. You're so upset, you don't have to stick around. Fuck off. What the hell is stupid me to talk to a guy like him? Imagine if it was Naegi. They would actually get along. Because Naegi is just like friendship. Is He's, like, magic. not Psycho Nagito. So I think there's somewhere, not, somewhere else you can go from here. Yeah. Bing. Sorry. I mean, I figured it was the thing with the big sign. Yeah! Scream? That voice just now, wasn't that a bookie? Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, Pookier, you're right. What happened? This is bad. I'm panicking so much I don't even have time to space my words. What's going on? The killing. The killing started again. So dramatic, Abuki. Huh? A crab? <laughs> Look over there. So I glanced over the beach where Abuki was pointing her finger. Oh. Killing hasn't started again, they're just fighting. I mean... Your speed is adequate, but it's still not enough. Each blow you land is too soft. That is an incredible upskirt. <laughs> and yet we see nothing. What the heck is this? He does, I'm sure. Your athletic body is going to waste. Shut up! All I gotta do is win. What was that? You're gonna win against me? That's quite absurd! Ah! And suddenly, no more children. Ever. Huh? Enough. Have you learned your lesson? We're done for! He's done it! Nekamara Nita's ultimate move! Super body blow! That's instant death if she's lucky! She'll live for another five minutes at best! Jeez. Akane, at your current power level, you cannot even defeat a mere team manager. What are you saying? Why are you guys fighting? Huh? Hmm? This isn't a fight. <laughs> it's a one-sided beatdown. That's even worse. The rules for the school trip clearly say excessive violence is prohibited. Training! What violence? This is not a real fight, we're training! Yeah, because but... murdering someone isn't violence, Hajime. But it looked like a real fight. Huh? Yeah, how does that work? Because, uh, littering will set off the sirens, but killing someone won't? I you know. Yep. You don't think it'd be how it is, but it do. <laughs> no, like, there needs to be some clarification here on how those still work. I'm just a team manager. There's no way I'd be able to fight for real. We both agreed to this training session. I'm not violating any rules at all. Even so, why the sudden interest in training? Ugh. <laughs> I gotta admit it. What the? Ah, she's alive! Fool. She's not a weakling who'd get killed by a weak blow like that. You look pretty strong, so I couldn't help but get excited. Loot. I thought sparring would help me burn out some of this energy, but I lost. 
More importantly, there's a lot of strong dudes in this world, huh? What a bunch of battle-loving troublemakers. I see. Akane, it seems you're the type who learns through actions rather than words. So I shall give you one piece of advice. How you use your body, muscles, your positioning, your timing, it's all half-assed. You're not utilizing your ultimate gymnast talent well at all. Attention. Basics. Make sure you understand the basics. You'll always be second rate if you rely on instinct. You. Damn it. Just shut up. Then... If you understand what I said, come see me. When the time comes, I'll fight you once again. Don't forget. You better not forget what you just said. My desire to win is pretty crazy. I'll show you my serious side. I won't give up until I beat ya. With wobbling steps, Akane left the beach. However... As she fought that fiercely with just her own style, how ominous. My hands are still numb. That girl. She's probably gonna get even stronger. Why did you voice that line? Why did you voice those two lines? I don't know. What kind of conversation is this? Alright, well, um... You too. Your basics are the foundation for everything. No, I get that, but... Training that resembles an actual fight might be fun, but just be careful not to get hurt, both of you. Injuring an athlete would disgrace me as a team manager! The more you fight, the stronger you get. That's what being a battle lover is all about. What kind of conclusion is that? No. No? No. Not yet. Oh. Okay. Nope. Nope. Oh. There you go. Now you can go in there. Hidden Are Monokuma. You serious? I thought this I thought this was a huge beach house since it's near the edge of the beach. It looks pretty luxurious. I guess it's a celebrity-styled beach house. <laughs> oh, what I meant to do. <laughs> looks like this is the closet. Um, the inside is looks like a small storage room. It's almost like a walk-in closet. There's surfboards arranged on the shelves, but I'm not into surfing, so it doesn't really matter to me. Hey, Soda. You know, doesn't this feel awesome like a celebrity's pad or something? This shower's out of order, but the ambience is nice, and the fridge is stocked with loads of drinks. <laughs> Plus, the beach outside feels so private, it's awesome! Compared to the urban seas, they're full of trash and debris, this place is completely different. We're only ones on this island anyway, so... Anywhere we go is a private beach. Hey, 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 hey don't shatter my dreams like that! That's right. More importantly, why don't we splash around to this private beach? Whoa. Awesome, totally awesome! Splashing around to such a gorgeous beach surely is the best! He is his usual happy-go-lucky self. Guess I... Well, I guess that's one of his good qualities. I wonder if Miss Sonia would come too. I want to see Miss Sonia in a bathing suit and a bikini, whatever. Whoa. Whoa, it's here! Hey. Wait, not? Are you trying to interfere with my love affair with Miss Sonia? Changing in the back beach house is prohibited! It would be bad if shameful peeking occurred! I mean, at that point, why don't you just set it up so that you can, you know, easily have two rooms or something? Boy and girl? I see me changing here isn't allowed, not going to the beach itself. And I'll just have to come here after changing. I'm never gonna give her up. I'm never gonna let her down. You might let her down, <laughs> though. Anyway, breaking the rules is not allowed! Also, playing is fine, but please focus on your studies, too! I'm not expecting to see Monokuma with a fucking LMG. Where? Where's the rule break? I'll beat the crap out of him, no questions asked. Yeah, he's here! You, what are you holding? A machine gun, obviously. You won't make to be shot to death, that's just common sense. It's common sense where? It's not like we're under a military dictatorship. 
<laughs> now I want to shoot something. I don't know how to, but I really want to shoot something right now. C control yourself. Hold it here. Hold it. Yeah, fire and power so on dirt. No matter the cost until the day someone breaks the rule. Um, as you can see, it's very dangerous. So please refrain from changing at the beach house. Uh. Wow, that was totally bizarre. Man, they're annoying. Yeah, I feel very tired all of a sudden. I... Question. What happens if I were to, like, go to my house, strip naked, and just walk around the island nude? She would probably come out, yell at you, make a rule about it, um, and it's an exception for that one time because she just made the rule about it. Looks like this is the shower room. There's a notice on the door. Judging from the illustration, it looks like it's been repaired or under construction, something like that. Okay. The roadside door. The door leads to the roadside by the tunnel. Oh, which reminds me, when we mentioned Agito at the restaurant, Kazuichi looked pretty unsettled about something. I should, I should ask him about that. <clears throat> oh, which reminds me, I had something to ask you. Huh? Why? Well, it's about Nagito. Uh, I haven't seen that guy all day. Do you know where he is? Well... I don't know. Seriously, don't ask me. Who cares about the crazy-ass bastard? We need to search this island first and foremost. There might be a way to escape. How annoying. So let's just end all the annoying talk right here. That's it all done. He ended the conversation very forcibly. Just as I thought he's definitely hiding something. Okay. There's a lot of drinks here, like water and coffee, but most of these drinks have colored dyes that make them bad for your health. Can we drink these for free? Alright. Well, Nagito is not important. Easy, bye. Back to the parking of the diner. Now the pharmacy, drug and cosmetic. Of course you would. Obviously. Hey, Mikan. <laughs> Gonna assume the sound she just made is what's in text there. Yeah, I'm more just baffled. <laughs> what's with you? Um, I'm sorry. I got so excited I started shouting. I was so happy that someone to talk to me. Before people either hated me or were grossed out by me. You were precious and how dare I. Those are such sad choices. More importantly, isn't this a drugstore? It looks pretty spacious. But it looks like there's no one here either. Um. With all these medical supplies, I'm pretty sure we can handle most illnesses or injuries. <laughs> if you don't feel well, let me know. I'll give you lots of shots. I can make jokes. Lots and lots of shots. That sounds dangerous. When it comes to shots, I should definitely decline. Okay. The shelves are crammed with a lot of stuff that looks like medicine, like the medicines that you need to see. Those ones look way more potent. I figured there would be one hidden in here. I just couldn't see it from where I was looking. Yeah, I saw it a few times when you looked around, so I was like, oh, you better see that before you leave. Yeah. I thought I I thought it would be down here to be honest, and I didn't see it, and then I was like, oh there I it is. I don't think I found this one. Huh, go. Cool. I guess I'm just better than you. Nothing? I mean, yeah. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Library. It's time for some books. Time to hit the books. Oh. I wonder who redecorated in here. Well, that's an impressive amount of books. Probably a library, but nonetheless, it's probably nonetheless, it looks pretty overwhelming. Maybe a bookstore, I'm not really sure. 
it said a library out front. I think Hajime can safely say it's a library. <laughs> the bronze statue of Monami, I mean Usami, before she was redesigned. Looks like it broke when it got dropped. Getting treated like a nuisance even a statue, that's pretty sad. I didn't see that up there. Hi! He's watching us, like a guardian this is, angel. This is a bronze statue of Monokuma. It looks so arrogant, what a lame taste. Is that all three for this chapter? Um, before, you know, murders, yeah. Because there are three that are just generally on the new island, and then two that'll be in areas that you, you like, unlock because of the murder. Oh, she just said surprise. I am a little surprised. I never expected to find such a splendid facility. It rivals even my homeland's national library. But isn't it strange? I mean, does a resort really need a library like this? I am concerned. That is very true, and just as expected, nobody is here either. You're right. The fact that we're the only humans around here is even more strange. Ta-da! Monami is here! I'm reading a book! <laughs> and since you've come here, would you like me to explain this library to you? Um, I... I see... It's clear from the race that I'm a nuisance! Since I was more energetic than usual, I feel even emptier now! And what about your explanation? Well, you're all basically students, right? I was thinking you needed a place where you can do homework! So, I prepared this library! Um. Prepared? You? <laughs> Everyone can get along and study together! It's a student's duty to study! Don't act like a teacher. I am a teacher! You're even more confusing than Monokuma. So what's your real identity? What's your purpose? Real identity? Now that's silly! Goodbye! Running away as soon as things get inconvenient. It's even more suspicious. However... I cannot believe that she is the one who prepared this grand facility. Yeah, she's probably lying. I see. According I see. to this island's guidebook, many of their guests are wealthy and stay for weeks at a time. Which means these are all probably things that they donated. Hold on, did you just say the silence guidebook? I found it in the library. Would you like to take a look? What language is this? I have no English. clue. English. Is it English? It's crazy. Then, then I shall read it on your behalf. You can read it, Sonia? <laughs> I am fluent in 30 different languages. It is a requirement for the members of the royal family. 30 languages? Does the royal family have a limit? <sighs> Jabberwock Island is a small island in the Pacific Ocean known for being a paradise of eternal summer. That is what it says. This is exactly what Byakuya told us before. Jabberwock Island consists of small central islands surrounded by five other islands. The outer islands were developed as resorts while the central island houses a large administration building. Did we ever see that building? Uh, no. Huh? Yeah. That is strange, I mean, the central island of Jabberwock Island. There was no sign of any buildings at all. The only things that were, they were, was Monocum Rock and the park. Um. Also, according to this guidebook, it says that there is a bronze statue in the lobby of that building, which symbolizes the island. Huh? Isn't that... 
Are you talking about the bronze statue that turned to the Mono Beasts? But that statue was in the middle of a park, not in the lobby of some building. Wow, Please you can not. remove a building and plant a park? That what? is not all. There is another description that strikes me as strange. According to this guidebook, the only way to travel between the five islands is by boat. Huh? Well, some people wanted bridges. Critics worried about their effect on the environment, so none were built. And what does that mean? Then, what are we going to use? To, what are we using to move between islands? There's a possibility that this place is an artificial island, like Palm Juria. Jum Jumuria. Palm Juria, an artificial Jum island. Jumaria. Jumaria. Palm Jumaria is a huge artificial island and tourist site located in the Persian Gulf. Similarly, this island might be an artificial island designed to look like Jabberwock Island. That especially might be why we are the only ones on this island. Just kidding. Well, something like that would be impossible anyway. No island of this size could be completely artificial. This guidebook must be old too if it, it contradicts everything about the island's current situation. My mind, you're very intuitive to assume this is an artificial island. Now you're here? However, those guys are the only ones who could do something on such a massive scale. Those guys? The hint is, you know the enormous organization you guys were talking about before? Mm, it is true, those guys totally deserve to be called a horrible group of people. Who are you talking about? Oops, that was a slip of the tongue. I should excuse myself before it leaks onto the internet. Hey, hold on a second. Before my voice could reach him, Monokuma disappeared as usual. So, uh, the Togami group, I guess? It cannot be. Could it be? This island is completely artificial? There is no way that is true. There's no way. That guidebook is probably sold. You are right. That's right. It's, that's obviously what it is. He's just saying strange things just to confuse us. Damn it, there's no way I'd fall for that. Yeah, okay. This is a huge library, but there are no other human beings to be found here at all. Just as I thought, it might be safe to assume that this island is also uninhabited. It was a lot shorter of a conversation. Man, we got a lot of backstory with Sonya. <laughs> Pekko is just kind of here. What language are these books written in? French, Italian, I don't even know. I see, I see. Hmm. Such an interesting description. What are you reading? Are those political books or maybe some kind of philosophy? The newest issue of a cult magazine? It breaks yeah. the lid off underground mysteries and the wonders of the world. Okay, you know what the really sad thing is? What? That she'd get along with Hero. Hero hated occult stuff, though, if you remember. Yeah, but most of the things he called not occult, I'm sure she would consider occult. Yeah, but she would call them occult, and he would hate her for that. Uh, he would probably correct her, and she'd be like, Oh, my, you know, sorry, blah, 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 because she's the kind. Yeah. That's quite a surprise. It is not like I read it often. I am just reading it because it has a special article about serial killers. <sighs> You're not helping. That's not a good excuse at all. It seems this writer has very good taste. They talked about Genocide Jack. I mean, even Genocide Jack <laughs> is mentioned in the article. Knew it. Yeah. Mm, that Genocide Jack, whatever. I feel like I've heard about her before. Her? Genocide Jack is an alleged Japanese serial killer who has a reputation even among casual internet users. She is very popular among youths and is known for writing messages in blood at the scene of the crime. I didn't think they knew it was a guy or a girl in the first game. 
Apparently, she is a high school or middle school student who wears a suit, a sailor uniform. Be careful, Hajime. You know how many high school or middle school girls wear sailor uniforms these days? Me? Ah, this one is a particular favorite of mine. Sparkling justice is a regular subject of these like, kinds of exclusive articles. I shall explain it to you just in case. Sparkling Justice is a serial killer who calls themselves the Ally of Justice. Wearing a wide variety of hero masks, Sparkling Justice is a delightful serial killer who only kills criminals. Sonia, calm down. Thanks to the mask Sparkling Justice wears, nobody knows their real age or gender. After all, it is essential that the serial killers be mysterious. What an expert, yes! Hey. Hey. You two, I've been listening for a while now, but why are you talking about mere murderers with such enthusiasm? Okay. So I should mention something to you. What? You've combined two voices into one. I mean, right now, combined... yeah, it's iconic. I can tell. But, you know, can't really do much about that. You just, you read it with a little bit of pause to things. Like... Why are you talking about? Yeah, I know, but I'm trying to make it deeper. But it just got breathy this long. Mistake. Yeah, no, I've just noticed it the last few times you've read. I haven't done any talking. Please wait. Please hold on. It is a mistake to refer to these people as mere murderers. Coming in contact with a value system that differs from your own is a very important matter. Serial killers, their value system is very different from the norm. What a marvelous existence. I am thoughts intrigued. Is this kind of like a young lady crushing a total bad boy type of situation? Regardless, it's clearly different from a princess who is obsessed with serial killers. Hajime. Ah, it's you, Chiaki. What happened? Well... Um, I'm letting everyone else know too, but can you come to the ancient ruins on this island right away? You can, right? Right away. Okay, hurry up. Hmm, based on our pushy tone, she might have found some sort of clue. Then I guess I should head over to the ancient ruins. Just footsteps off in the distance. What the heck is this? What the heck? Such a gigantic building. However, however, it is clearly faded. It looks like an ancient ruin. Well, it seems perhaps this is an ancient ruin. What's going on? How should I say this? Don't you think this building resembles a school? School. Hope's Peak Academy? No. I think you mentioned it. I don't know how, but I do see what she means. Do they pick up Hope's Peak Academy and move it to their artificial island? Just pick it up like it, and move it over there. Like, I, I'm just wondering, if I were to go in there, would I be able to find the lab that has all of her old friend's bodies in it? I know. To Hope's Peak Academy. Well, there are a lot of similar looking buildings. It's just a coincidence that this ruin looks similar, or exactly the same, just with trees all over it. It's a coincidence, right? Hmm. They found something, right, Chiaki? What did you find? Hey, bastard! I'll fucking cut you if this is a waste of time. I didn't know you were also here. The bitch over there kept bugging me, so I finally came. <laughs> did you maybe find a way to get off this island? Nope, nothing like that. Aw, then who cares? I should have played with in the bath of Mahiru more. Let me ask. Then what in the world did he find? Chucky found something. I wonder what it is. Um Ibuki, let's hear you talk more. <laughs> Chiaki was investigating this place really thoroughly. Is she a ruins enthusiast? Why are you apologizing so suddenly? I was so excited about the drugstore that I completely forgot to find a way off this island. 
sounds like she was only thinking about giving people shots. Shot, 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 then, shot. <laughs> there weren't any clues at that drugstore? Well, there was lots of medicine and lots of syringes and needles. So, shots then. Shot, 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 shot. Everybody! Okay. I'm just talking to the people who I adore. I took the time to come all the way here. So if it's a waste of my time, I'll fucking cut you. I like how you don't like Kyoko, but you do like Fuyuhiko. I don't... It doesn't make sense, but alright. Pop off, senor. Because I think that Fuyuhiko is full of shit. And I think the other one is an actually rotten person. Even though I both of them do the same exact thing. And I think that Fuyuhiko doesn't mean a single word of it. He's trying to act tough. So you don't think Kyoko is the... trying to act tough? Oh no, I think... I Wait. That's... Uh, Yukata or whatever, right? Kyoko. Yeah. And it's also Komodo. Komodo, thank you. Uh, that's Komodo bitch? Yeah, I think she's actually just a rotten person down at the core. Even though they do the same think... exact things and have given you no inclination that either of them are... Listen, I'm me. Okay. This is who I am. I think she's just a rotten person. I think she's a little brat who treats people like shit. I think that he is trying to act like a tough guy despite the fact that he's like two. Except he's also cursing at us and telling us that we're dumb and stupid and saying all the same things Hyoko says. But Hyoko's actually a bad person. But he's not. He's just faking it. Do you see how kind of dumb that is? Listen, I literally had never heard him talk before I said I liked him. <laughs> okay. I had never heard her talk. I'm like, oh, maybe. No, oh no, she's rotten. <laughs> she's rotten to the fucking core. But I looked at him and I'm like, you're small. You'd probably fight somebody. You remind me of Cassie. <laughs> A new land is opened, however, it does not mean we will find salvation there. Grief is all that awaits us, but that would be quite entertaining. So he's saying he didn't find anything useful in this island, is that it? Hey, Chiaki. Hey, Chiaki, what did you find? If it's way off this island, does it have something to do with this island's secret? About that, I don't know. Hey. What do you mean you don't know? Hmm. It's like it doesn't belong with a building like this. I keep thinking about it and it feels unnatural. Hmm. It's like a comic book originally about baseball becoming a side-scrolling action game. I got that. And this is a side scroller, so maybe? <laughs> it's unnatural, like that. That's a little hard to understand. Look, that door over there. Door? Guys, next time on Let's Play Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair, we'll be checking out what's with this door, which we have totally never seen a door like this before ever. Nope. No one dies in Danganronpa, yep. blah, 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 blah. See you all next time. Bye. Wait. Wait, what? It's just the building in general is a question mark. Okay. But why is this ancient ruin? Why is this question mark? Who knows, my guy? Who knows? It's bizarre. Whatever. Bye. <laughs>